Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. In this video, we'll be multiplying whole numbers by decimal numbers. But before we jump right into the video, just a reminder. Like I've said in my other videos, all around the world, we use two different decimal separators. We use a decimal comma and we use a decimal point. And because I was born and raised in South Africa, I use the decimal comma. So that doesn't change anything else, any rules, except for the fact that I use a comma where you may use a point. Now let's get started with today's video. Here we have a whole number times a decimal number. So there are three rules you're going to follow when you're multiplying a whole number by a decimal number. The first rule, you ignore the decimal separator and then you multiply the two numbers as if they were whole numbers. And for the last step, you add back the decimal separator. Now I'll show you this step by step until you've reached your answer. So let's look at 13 times 2,4. So like I said, the first step, ignore the comma and do normal multiplication. So here we have 13 times 24. Now you remember your two lines and then we can start multiplying. If you are struggling a bit with this step with normal multiplication, I already have a few videos explaining multiplication. So I'll just link them and you can go and check them out. So we have three times four, three times four is 12. You write down your two, carry over your one. One times four is four plus that one you carry it over is five. And now before we carry on multiplying with the 20, we cancel that one because we already worked with it. And now we can start multiplying with the 20. So remember, because we are multiplying with 20 and not just by two, we add a zero in the answer line before we start multiplying with the two. So two times three is six and two times one is two. So now all we need to do is add those two answers together. So remember when we do addition, we start at the right, we work our way to the left. So two plus zero is two, five plus six is 11. You write down your one, carry over your one, and two plus that one you carried over is three. And now you have the answer for 13 times 24, but we need the answer for 13 times 2,4. So we need to add back the decimal separator at the correct place. So for that, you go to your original question, 13 times 2,4, and you need to count how many digits there are to the right of the decimal separator. So behind the decimal separator. So here we only have one. So in your answer, there should also be one digit after the decimal separator. So you add your comma. So your answer for 13 times 2,4 is 31,2. So let's have a look at another example. So the first step, you write it down without the decimal separator. And what I want you to see here is that the zero in front of the three really doesn't mean anything. 0, 3 is the same as only 3. So you can leave the 0 in front of the 3. So here we have 215 times 3. So you have your two lines. And now you can start. 5 times 3 is 15. You write on your 5, carry over your 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Plus that one you carried over is 4. And 2 times 3 is 6. So remember, this is your answer for 215 times 3, but you need the answer for 215 times 0, 0,3. So you go to your question, you count how many digits is behind the comma, behind the decimal separator. There's only one. So in your answer, there should only be one digit after the decimal separator. So now you can Add your comma, so your answer for 215 times 0, 0,3 is 64,5. And now let's have one last example. For the third example, we have 45 times 0, 0,52. 
And remember, your first step, you're going to write it like a normal multiplication sum without any decimal separators. But also remember, like in the second example, the zero in front of the number doesn't mean anything. So you can just leave that zero out. So we have 45 times 52. And you have your two lines, and now you can just start multiplying. So 5 times 2 is 10. Write down your 0, carry over your 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus that one you carried over is 9. And now you move on to the 50. But before you do that, remember to cancel that 1. We already worked with it. And because we are multiplying by 50 and not just by 5, we need to add a 0 in the next line. And now we can just start multiplying the digits. So 5 times 5 is 25. You write down your 5, carry over your 2. And 5 times 4 is 20, plus that 2 you carried over is 22. And now we add those two answers together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 9 plus 5 is 14. Write down your 4, carry over your 1. 2 plus that 1 you carried over is 3 and then just two. And now we go to our original question. There are two digits behind the comma. So in our answer, we also need two digits behind our comma. So our answer for 45 times 0, 0,52 is 23,40. And as you can see, 23,40 is exactly the same as 23,4, so you don't need to write that last zero. And like always, there's a worksheet with a memo in the description box below. There's a worksheet for if you work with a comma, and there's a worksheet for if you work with a point. So just make sure you download the correct worksheet and memo for you. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And also, please leave a comment below. It really helps my channel a lot. And then I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.